Okay, you got that bad brake line that's got a restriction in it. So what you need to do is loosen up your line right here on the fitting. If your fitting turns with, with the line, or the line turns with the fitting, then you need to heat it up with a propane torch or a map gas. Heat that uh, nut part up so you can spin it without twisting your line off. Once you got that done, you can undo this little 10, remove this uh, ABS wire, and you need to get this undone. Put the line aside and get your new line and thread it into it. Okay, you got your line started under the fitting. I got some anti-seize on it. I threaded it in there. I snugged it up. And then I put a small pair of vice grips on there, just enough to squeeze it to restrict the flow so it doesn't sit there and drip out my all my brake fluid. Best thing I can say now is to raise the hood and top off your brake fluid and leave the reservoir cap off. So when you do hook up this to the caliper, you don't drain the whole system out of brake fluid and create an air pocket. You don't want no air pockets in there. Okay, so we don't want to fasten it yet because like on the old one right here, it's got this little uh, retainer for the ABS wire and we want to take that off. Once we get this whole line out, we're going to take that little bracket off of there and bolt it up to the new one, okay? Okay, I'm going to open up the cap. I'm going to wipe it off first. All right, get the cap off, set it aside, and then top your fluid off and make sure to read the cap, what kind of fluid it takes. Uh, this one don't tell me. Most of the time they do. So now I have to look on the reservoir to make sure that we're putting in the right stuff. It says dot three right here. So we're gonna put in dot three. Okay, I poured some fluid in there. Now I'm gonna raise it back up or whatever you guys do so I can get access to my hose. Okay. I forgot to tell you what size bolt that was. That was a 10 millimeter, all right? And you wanna take off this one down here also, that's a 10 millimeter. And you wanna take off the one on the back of the caliper, which is the caliper banjo bolt, and that's a 15 millimeter. So now you wanna take those two out and get a pan underneath the caliper because it's gonna drip all its fluid out because it's on the lowest point of the... Uh... Okay, I got mine off the back of the caliper. There's my banjo bolt. Try to take off this 10 snapped off. Now you're gonna pull this out and you wanna undo these lines, this uh, connectors for your uh, wire harness for your ABS wire. Get them out of there. Okay, I got the old line out. Don't throw it away because you still need to remove that bracket. All right, so fish the new one through in this way. Hook up your two little wire harness connectors. You see this section right here? There's a slot right on the back side of the spring perch that needs to go in the slot then you can slide the, the front part in behind behind it get it in there get you gotta go in that slot first because otherwise it won't push in all the way all right so once you got it in the slot push it in there and put your bolt in there and put some anises on your, your bolt threads okay okay i got my bolt in it wouldn't go in because this little tab here was pushed too far in so i do this I, I pulled, bent it out a little bit to allow my bracket to go in there far so I can get my bolt started. I got my bolt started. Got my little uh, wire harness on there. Now I'm ready to do my banjo bolt under my line with my copper O-rings. And make sure there's no O-rings left on your bolt. Make sure there's no O-rings left on the back side of the caliper. Okay, make sure there's no o -ring, uh, gasket on there. Make sure this is clean. And then you want to take the, your line, let it hang, pick it up, and you want to turn it and lift it up and get it started in there. And make sure it fits right into that little thing, like a little step right in there. And then you're going to want to tighten it up, okay? Okay, the banjo bolt. It's a 15 millimeter, remember? And you want to torque that to 23 foot pounds. Okay? And one thing I forgot to tell you what size the fitting was. That was a 12 millimeter. 
Sorry about that. All right. So now that's torqued. So now we can go ahead and get that little bracket off of our old brake line. All right, putting the vise or whatever. Grab hold of the end, see how it is. It tucks under and this has kind of like spring loaded. Just pull it up over it, take it off, bring it over to the new one. Remember which way it is and pop it on there. Yep. So, I'm pretty sure it goes, it's gonna go that way. Okay, so you wanna pop it on there. Having a hard time pushing on there, get a pair of pliers, get around it, squeeze it, and it pushes it right on. Okay, now you can put your bolt in there. Put some ANC's on your threads. Okay, you might want to loosen up the fitting line so you can turn it. Loosen the fitting up, turn it, get this piece in there, get your bolt in there, tighten it up, get your line on there, tighten that up also. It's a good snug line. You don't want to overbear it, but make sure it's tight. And then you want to start from over here and work your little your wire harness on those little holders. Go all the way around. And then what you might want to do is Pull this tube off the rear end. Pull it, make sure it's on the outside. And then you wanna wrap it after you got all your harness fastened and you wanna wrap it around the bottom of it. Cause when the suspension goes up, that line's, brake line's gonna come up a little bit. You don't want it the other way around, rub it on it. So this way it allows it to not touch it. So if, if this little clip broke, Cut it off, put a little zip tie on it, don't bear down on it, just, just wanna hold it. Okay, so now you got all those, you got that tight, your banjo bolt tight, your uh, master cylinder cap off. So now what you wanna do is you wanna loosen up your bleeder, so hopefully it will gravity bleed and start dripping pretty soon. Otherwise I might have to start, put, tighten the cap back up and pump the brake pedal up to get some fluid going on in there. Hey, when you're doing your brake hoses, do the other side too. Because I was just gonna replace the other side because that's all that's available in stock and that's what I was having problems with. But as I'm replacing the brake pads, the other side is really hard to push in. And uh, so don't chance it, always replace brake hoses as a pair, okay? Okay, I pushed the pedal to the floor, and here we go, I'm siphoning it out. Just let it go a little bit, and then you wanna tighten it up, snug it up. And then what you wanna do is go inside the car and hit your brake pedal. But you can always do this too. This always helps out. Creates a vibration inside here and it works the little air bubbles out from around the piston and the seal. And then you can open it up. See if you get any air bubbles out of there. And doing so far so good. So now, then what you wanna do is you wanna go back inside, push the pedal to the floor Make sure you bring the piston out in case it came back in, and then you wanna go ahead again and bleed it. Then after that, snug it up, put your little rubber cap back on there. And then uh, you're done. And you can put your tire on, lower it down, top off your master cylinder, put your cap back on. And that's how you replace a brake line. Okay, if I helped you out with this, that's awesome. Maybe you can help me out by subscribing. And uh, if you already have, uh, I want to thank you.